In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the ISE pinch valve tubing on the uh, Cobus 6000 on the 501 side. Now for this, all you're going to need is the actual tubing itself. And it's the shorter of the tubes um, that are available for this analyzer. It has a green dot in the center, and it should be properly labeled um, if you have it still in the packaging. So after you put the system in standby, you're just going to open up the 501 side and remove the ISE cover. And then it's going to be this tube here for the pinch valve that we're going to be replacing. So just go ahead and gently disconnect it and slide it out. And then grab your fresh tubing and insert it. And then we're just going to uh, reconnect it. Now this could be a little awkward, especially if you have uh, big fingers or you're filming yourself doing this and the camera is in the way. Um, but you just need to kind of uh, manipulate it so that it goes back onto the connector and then just slide it on. Uh, you just want to be careful not to break anything um, because that would be a big problem, I would imagine. And um, I'm doing this before I run the green rack and before I do the daily pipe. Um, I am going to do a reagent prime, which I'll show you, but um, doing those things in conjunction with the reagent prime will make sure that there is no more air um, stuck in the system from replacing that tube. So starting off in workplace, you would go to utility, maintenance, um, and then you would select reagent prime. Um, now you could do it a couple times if you wanted to, but I'm just going to do it once, which should be enough paired with the other things that I'm going to do. Um, so you would just select it, um, and then you would execute, and that's really all there is to it. It'll run for a little bit, and that's it. Thanks.